Okay, continuing on here, we have theoretical probability, which we remember all the way back to around, I think, grade six, maybe even earlier. The probability of an event A occurring is given with this notation, and it's the number of what we call favorable outcomes over the total number of outcomes. One thing that can come in handy and speed up some intermediate calculations along the way is, you have a good knowledge, is if you have a good knowledge of complementary events. So the complementary of an event, the complement, sorry, of an event, A, is made up of those events, oh, sorry, of those outcomes of the sample space that are not in the event A. So the complement of A is usually written with a, this up here, or as Mr. Song pointed out, that could be a C. Right? And the complement of the event A is also referred to as not A. So the probability of not A is equal to 1 minus the probability of A. So in this first example, we'll start. Um, and do you, want, you want to take over from there? Sure. Number one, a bag contains four red marbles, five blue marbles, and three yellow marbles. And one marble is selected. Find the probability of selecting A, a red marble. So let's count how many marbles we have total. So there's four red, five blue, and three yellow, and tw or 12 total. Okay, so probability of picking a red marble would be four out of 12. Is that the only way to state that <coughs> answer? No, we can simplify it further. So we can say one out of three. Or, or uh, we can write it as a decimal, 0 0.333, up to, correct up to three significant figure. Mm -hmm. And the third way that they will accept in, uh, in the diploma, at least, is that you could also put 33.3 .3 as a percent. So percent, decimal, fraction, reduced fractions, they will give full points for all those forms of representation. It's quite loose, it's quite nice with probability is in that respect. Mm -hmm. um, B, a blue marble. There are five blue marbles out of 12 total. So uh, five out of 12, five over 12. Mm -hmm. That's probably of selecting a blue marble. And a marble that is not red. <clears throat> now, because we just talked about complementary events, let's talk about, uh, solve this problem using the complementary, uh, a complement of A or event A. So we know the probability of selecting a red marble was 4 out of 12, or 1 out of 3. So probability of pick, uh, selecting a marble that is not red should be 1 minus probability of picking a red marble. Right? So that's 1 minus 4 out of 12, which is 8 out of 12 or two-thirds. Excellent. So very often when you're asked these multi-part problems, you can use the result above to help simplify and speed up a calculation later. So we could use the result from part A to answer part C. And Next, we have the numbers 1 to 30 written on identical counters and placed in a bag. A counter is drawn at random from the bag, find the probability that a number is greater than 20. So the numbers greater than 20 are 21, 22, 23, all the way up to 30. There will be 10 of them. And the counters from 1 to 30, there are 30 of them. So 10 out of 30. And I'm going to be a bit lazy and leave it like that. You could reduce the fraction, but they're, they're not going to sweat it. So I won't either. In part B, we're asked for the probability of an even number. So you're going from 1 to 30, and you're going odd, even, odd, even, odd, even, odd, even till the end. So the probability of an even number is going to be 15 out of 30. Good, or 1 half. And that leaves a nice one there for part C. Probability of an odd number. Now remember, it's one half, of course, but you can talk, think of it as one minus probably of even number. And what are those two events called? 
Well, you had this discussion in your class. I didn't with mine, but let's let's uh, let's bring it back to the forefront so my students get that as well. The probability of an even and an odd. What were those kind of events called? They're complementary events. Okay, but also mutually exclusive events. Good. So those just happen to be. Now it's not what the question asked, but just uh, let's try to take every opportunity to to talk about the terms that we can here. Um, what is the probability of a multiple of three? Well. Hmm, these are a bit trickier. So 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21. Ooh. Pen's going crazy. 21, 24, 27, and 30. So how many have we got there? 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So 10 out of 30. I didn't trust myself to go right to that. <coughs> Did you? Uh, no. Uh, it's if you can't figure it out, it's always nice to count it, if, especially when the number is only thirty. Man. Good. So a number between this is a bit of a tricky word between fifteen and twenty-five. Let's take Mr. Song's advice and and do that same approach. So we start with sixteen because fifteen is not between fifteen. So sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. And we stop at 24. So how many is that going to be? 16, 17, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 is 20, 6 is 21, 7 is 22, 8 is 23, 9 is 24. Did I do that right? Yep. Excellent. And a number divisible by 5. Hmm. So I would count again. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. And 30. Listing the sample space is probably the, the most secure way to solve these problems if you can do it. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 out of 30. Ooh, sneaky. A probability of a number greater than 30. Hmm. Wait, let's go back up a little bit and look at the question. There's, in a the bag, there's a number 1 through 30 written on the counters. So the probability of picking a number greater than 30 should be zero. Excellent. Sometimes that throws the students off because they're looking, they all, they're not comfortable with putting a zero there. But mm -hmm. that, that, that can be on the probability scale. Everything from zero to one inclusive of zero and one can, can be a result. What about the probability of a number with a one in it, with the digit one now? Uh, not the number one, but the digit one. Right. Again. Let's count. 1, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and 19, 21, and that's it. Okay, so we're still out of 30. Let me count these up. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 out of 30. Excellent. Anything else we want to add about complement or probability of uh, theoretical probability of events? I think we covered it. Excellent.